Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Shed with me Mark and in today's video I'm going to show you how to sort out some custom folders for your SNES Classic Mini. Now this is such a great feature built into the Hack 2 software and it's so easy to do. So first of all make sure you've got custom selected under pages slash folders structure. Very very simple just scroll down to it and click it so it's ticked. Once you've done that Click on Synchronize Selected Games with SNES NES Mini. Look at that. So what you get here is another page that lets you organize your folders in any which way you want. And you can choose folder icons and you can do a whole load of other stuff. So let's uh, let's chuck a ROM on there. Let's chuck a ROM from a, a game called Splatterhouse. It was on the PC Engine and I haven't got any other PC Engine games on here currently. So I can show you exactly how to create a brand new custom folder for the PC Engine games. So let's just get ourselves a cover first, double tip on that, and then we are gonna click on Synchronize Selected Games. Once you've ticked that, you will get the lovely Folders Manager menu. And as you can see, unsorted games go into the unsorted folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rename the unsorted folder to PC Engine. It's as simple as that. Once I've done that, you can see Splatterhouse is sitting nicely under PC Engine. Uh, we don't have a folder icon though, so if you click on it, you see there's actually a whole load of folder icons built in to Hackchi 2, which is awesome. There's the PC Engine. Uh, and as you've seen from all the others, there is a whole load of other icons. But you can download your own and you can put them in the right place and stick them in there if you want. But I think the the, uh, the ones that are built in are pretty darn good. There's a whole bunch of other options as you can see me flicking through here. You can have no folders, you can have original games, other games, blah blah blah. Feel free to mess around with this folders manager as much as you want. You cannot really cause any major issues to your SNES Mini. So that's Splatterhouse put in a folder. We're going to head on over to the SNES Mini and let's have a look at how it looks. Here it is. Wow. So there's the Game Boy, PC Engine, Atari, blah, blah, blah. I've set all these up, all from the stock icons that come with the uh, Hack Chi 2 software, which is amazing. It's so impressive that that is there, built in as standard. But that is how you do it, guys. There you go. There's Splatterhouse. Beautiful. So once again, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been really useful for you. Uh, don't forget to drop a like and comment and I will see you next time.